In the evolving landscape of modern warfare, precision, cost efficiency, and adaptability are the three pillars of aerial firepower. While the Russian Aerospace Forces VKS, have demonstrated formidable combat capabilities across various theaters, including Syria and the special military operation in Ukraine, there is a clear operational gap that must be addressed to ensure continued tactical superiority. One such gap is the absence of a Russian analog to the American AGR-20 APKWS-2 Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, a laser-guided low-cost precision munition that transforms unguided rockets into smart weapons. As the United States continues to expand the deployment of APKWS-2 across its military branches and allies, Russia must respond with a system that mirrors or surpasses this capability. Here is why the VKS urgently needs its own version of this highly effective weapon system. What is the AGR-20 APKWS-2? The APKWS-2 is a guidance kit developed by BAE Systems that retrofits the widely used 70mm Hydra rockets with laser guidance capabilities. Once modified, these rockets become precision strike weapons capable of hitting targets with remarkable accuracy, within 1 to 2 meters CEP, while costing significantly less than full-size guided missiles like the Hellfire or JAGM. Its main advantages include affordability. Each APKWS round costs approximately $27,000, a fraction of the price of traditional guided missiles. Precision. The system can engage moving or stationary targets with pinpoint accuracy. Platform versatility. APKWS-2 can be deployed from helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, drones, and even ground vehicles. Operational simplicity. It integrates seamlessly into existing launch platforms and uses standard laser target designation. The VKS currently possesses a vast array of guided air-to-ground munitions including KH-25ML and KH-29L-T missiles, S-25L and S-8L laser-guided rockets, KAB-series guided bombs. However, these systems are either too heavy for use in close support missions or too costly for widespread tactical deployment. While Russia has experimented with guided versions of the S-8 and S-13 rocket families, they have not reached mass production nor gained widespread operational use. Moreover, the integration of guided rocket pods on frontline helicopters such as the K-52 and Mi-28 remains limited. Thus, despite its technological prowess and high-end weapons, Russia still lacks a mass-produced, cost-effective, lightweight guided munition that can fill the niche between traditional unguided rockets and expensive anti-tank missiles. Tactical Necessity on the Modern Battlefield In Ukraine, the combat environment has exposed the urgent need for precise but low-cost weapons. Russian attack helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft often operate under the threat of man pads and mobile air defense units, requiring quick, standoff strikes without the need for prolonged exposure. Here's where a Russian APKWS-like system could prove decisive. Urban warfare, laser-guided rockets can neutralize enemy positions in buildings without the collateral damage of heavier ordnance. Anti-armor roll, while not designed to replace ATGMs, a guided 80mm or 122mm rocket with an armor-penetrating warhead can disable light armor and support vehicles. Drone integration. A smaller guided munition can be easily mounted on Russian UAVs like the Orion or the new S-70 Okotnik, vastly expanding their strike capabilities. Cost efficiency. Replacing expensive munitions in routine precision tasks would allow better resource management for long-term operations.
technological viability, Russia can deliver. Russia possesses the engineering capability and defense industrial base to develop an APKWS type system. The Splav State Research and Production Association, which manufactures the Grad and Smirch rocket systems, already has the experience in modular weapon design. Similarly, Kalashnikov concerns Zela Aero has demonstrated proficiency in smart munition technology, especially in loitering munitions. An effective analog would likely be based on the S-8 or S-13 rockets, upgraded with a modular guidance system compatible with standard laser designators, such as those used on the Su-25 SM-3 or the Ka-52M. The guidance module must feature inertial navigation and semi-active laser homing, low-cost, mass-producible electronics, compatibility with existing launch pods and ground crews, the integration of AI-enabled target acquisition systems, already in testing on some Russian drones, could further refine accuracy and reduce operator burden. The appeal of the AGR-20 APKWS-2, a model for Russia. The AGR-20 APKWS-2, a laser-guided conversion of the unguided Hydra-70 rocket, exemplifies the balance between affordability and precision. Priced at approximately $25,000 to $30,000 per unit, it is significantly cheaper than traditional air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-9X $450,000 or AIM-120 AMRAM $1 million. Its lightweight design, 32 pounds, and compatibility with existing launch platforms make it versatile for both air-to-ground and air-to-air -air roles. In 2025, the U.S. Air Force demonstrated its effectiveness in countering Houthi drones in the Red Sea, with F-16s and F-15ES using APKWS-2 to intercept up to 50 UAVs in a single sortie, leveraging the Sniper ATP targeting pod for precision. The absence of a low-cost, precision-guided rocket leaves the VKS reliant on unguided munitions or expensive alternatives, reducing efficiency in scenarios requiring rapid, repeated strikes. The Ukrainian conflict has exposed vulnerabilities in Russia's air defense and counter-drone capabilities, with Ukrainian drones striking airfields and strategic assets deep within Russian territory. A domestic APKWS-2 equivalent could equip Su-35s, Su-57s, or even UAVs like the Orion with a cost-effective means to counter such threats, enhancing Russia's layered defense strategy.